Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of OpenCart Quick Order Extension. And using this extension, the customers would be able to add the products in bulk to the cart in one place without the need of visiting each product page within the website. This extension is convenient for the customers who already know the products they want to purchase. The customers can easily search the products using the product name or just by entering the alphabets of the product name to populate the results. So let's get ahead and let's see how this uh, extension works. But before that, we need to check the admin configuration settings that are there for this extension. So we'll be going to the admin backend panel first to check the backend configuration. And after that, we'll be showing you how on the front end uh, the quick orders can be placed. So let's go to the admin backend section first. Now, after logging in, to the admin backend panel of this uh, open cart uh, web store the admin needs to navigate to extensions extension and uh, select modules then under the modules you'll find the quick water extension just click on the edit button now here we have two options the very first one is the status and the other one is the role limit now under the status, the admin can enable the status of the module by selecting the enable button. Otherwise, if you wish to disable this extension, you can select it as disabled to disable the extension. So for the time being, we'll select it as enabled to keep it in the working uh, order. Now after that, we have the role limit. Now here the admin can set the role limit for the customers. This will restrict the customers from adding more than the set number of rows for adding the products to the cart. For example, if we have set the row limit as 5, then the customers would be able to add only 5 products from the quick order page. If you have set it as 3, then only 3 products would be able to add to the cart by the customer. So similarly, you can set the limit of how many products the customer can add into the cart from the quick order page. So these are the two main uh, settings for this extension, the backend configuration. And after that, just click the save button to save this extension. So uh, let's go to the front end now and we'll be showing you how the customers can make a quick uh, uh, order there. So for that, we'll be going to the front end section now. Now within this extension, uh, the customers as well as the guest uh, users would be able to make quick orders uh, on this website using the quick order page here. And uh, now let's go ahead and let's see how a registered customer or a customer can uh, place the order in the first place. So uh, the, just, the customer just needs to log in as normal and after that click on the quick order uh, main uh, quick order link on the header here just click that up and then this brings up the quick order page now here we have uh, the quick order section and uh, we have a section to enter the product name we have a section for the quantity and uh, a separate section is the image and a remove button is also there to search a product just type in the name of the product like Mac and it would populate all the products that are there for the entered uh, alphabets. So I'll select MacBook Air and it would automatically add a single quantity of uh, this item directly to the cart. And here you can see the product is added to the cart right now. Similarly, if you wish to add some more products, the thing is that you must be knowing what products are exactly on this website before you come to this section for searching the products. So I'll go for a jacket. Let me see if there's something for the jacket. Now, if uh, any product has uh, the options there, you will be able to select them before adding that product within the quick uh, order cart. So you need to select the options first for that um, product. And after that, you'll click the add cart button to add that product within the cart. So here you can see that we have added the size excess and the color drop dark gray and we have macbook there and similarly you can add more uh, rows or more products here for example we'll add uh, okay i'll just cancel that 
I'll just add a light jacket. I'll select the size for that, its color, and click the Add to Cart button. So you here you can see that the products have been added. One more thing to notice is that if uh, you have already added a product in your quick order cart and if you are trying to add that product once again then what will happen I'll just show you for example I've already added the MacBook here so what happens if I add it once again let me try that out for you so I have MacBook so you'll get a pop-up or a notification that the product is already added to the cart and would you like to add some more into the cart if you click OK then one quantity would be added to the previously added product that is present within the quick order cart. If I click cancel, nothing would happen and I'll have to search for the products more. But if I click OK, you will see that the MacBook uh, quantity would uh, be raised to 2. Here you can see that it has uh, become 2 now. And in the cart as well, you can see it as 2 right now. So, uh, so, uh, that was how the uh, customer can come and start searching the products here and uh, start adding the products to, to the quick order cart. Now if a customer wants to check the image uh, of the product, he can click on the image of the product and this would uh, directly take him to the product page uh, of, uh, of that product. So here we are on the uh, product page. Similarly, if we go for this leather jacket, we click on that and this would open up the page for the leather jacket uh, so uh, this way the uh, customer can click on the images to check the product pages if the customer wants he can also remove any of the added uh, products and if he wants to add more he can add more as we have said the limit is 5 let's see if it allows us to add more than 5 products into the quick order cart or not for that I'll just click on the add group button I'll add some products Uh, I've already edited that. So it's one, two, three, four. All right, now you can see the add row button uh, is invisible now, and the customer is not able to add any of, uh, any more of the products there. So we had set the limit for 5 and the rules have stopped at 5. So that was about how the customer can add the products within the quick order cart and can uh, remove the uh, products from the cart as well. Uh, after that you can estim estimate your shipping and taxes by uh, entering the country, selecting the region and entering the postal code. After that click on the get codes button to select the shipping method and just click on the apply shipping button to apply the shipping and after that you'll, you can see your shopping cart all together and then as normal you can make a checkout like a normal customer by selecting your billing details your delivery details and your shipping, your payment methods, and lastly you can confirm the order by clicking the confirm order button. And to check the uh, order, you can click on the order history and you can click on the view button to check the order details that you've placed. So uh, similarly, uh, the uh, guest customer can also uh, come and uh, place the orders, and uh, and that was all about the uh, Open Cut Quick Order extension. And uh, if you have any queries or questions rela related to this extension, you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webpool.uvdesk.com. Thanks for watching the video and have a great day ahead.